Dan Chauncey here from Cross Point Family Church and glad that you joined us for the latest edition of Getting Real with Ray. Today, Harv and Ray are going to discuss one of the things I should say at least, uh, how should the church be responding to what is going on in our country? And, uh... But there was a quote, and I forget who it's, who it's from, but it said, it is not what a man does not know that hurts him. It are the things that he is sure about mm -hmm. and he's wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Yeah. Because our ability not to reach for one another mm -hmm. will just keep us in one place. I, I certainly believe that the kingdom of God uh, flourishes when uh, it's like the song we sang, uh -huh. and you sang it and I sang it. Yes. Jesus loves the little children yes. of the world. Yes. Red and yellow, yes. brown, black, and white. Yes. They are all precious in his sight. Yes. And uh, I'm, I'm constantly reminded that we all stand at level ground at mm -hmm. the foot of the cross. Yes. And I think that that's... I think that's one of the beautiful things about the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, Ray, the world right now is trying to point out how different we are. Right. But you have said to me right. several times right. that we need, a, we need to celebrate mm -hmm. all the things that we have in common. Surely. All, all the Surely. things that we agree on. Surely. And um, I think that that's a message that I would love to, to get out to the world is, yeah, we have a few ideologies mm -hmm. that are a little bit different. Sure. But really, for the most part, I think, you know, you and I probably could come up with a much bigger list of what we agree on Guaranteed. than than what we might have a few little things where we see things slightly different. Guaranteed. Yeah. I remember an old lady from one of the churches that we used to go, go to. She said, we may all have come here on different ships, yeah. but we're in the same boat now. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You know? Yeah, yeah. And so we need to understand that we need one another. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, you know, as African American men, I've had some experiences in my life yeah. of inequality. Mm -hmm. You know, growing up, uh, there were certain swimming pools that I could not swim in. Yeah. My father, who mm -hmm. fought for this nation, yeah. World War II, Battle of the mm -hmm. Bulge, yeah. when the ship came back to the States, he could not disembark mm -hmm. until all of the soldiers who did not look like him mm -hmm. disembarked first. Yeah. And when he came home, there were amusement parks he could not go to. Yeah. But he always taught me, and it's important, Pastor, you never let those things get in your heart. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Because they build up an abundance, and later it comes out of your mouth. The sure. Bible says it yeah. does. Yeah. But we talked about, you know, I don't want to get even. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to get even. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. And we had that conversation right here. Right, right. And I went on to explain, you know, I don't want to yeah. get even in a negative, right. you know, connotation, but in a positive, I just right. want to life, yeah. liberty, and the pursuit mm -hmm. of happiness. Sure. Yeah. A level playing field, yeah. not a hand out, a hand up. Yeah. And I think we will learn that together because, you know, I was at a park not long ago taking lunch. Mm -hmm. Safety Harbor, yeah. Felipe Park, mm -hmm. beautiful park, taking mm -hmm. lunch. Mm -hmm. I'm a big guy, yeah. six foot four, 270 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and I had my lunch and my dark glasses on and yeah. my hat, you know. Yeah. And I guess maybe I was a pretty imposing figure. Yeah. And it was a little Caucasian lady with a little uh, Yorkie. Yeah. And she looked yeah. and her eyes said it all. Yeah. Yeah. She pulled her dog close and it broke my heart because Harv, if Pastor Harv, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if anyone would have come to bother that lady and that little dog, yeah. this big butterscotch colored fella <laughs> yeah. would have run to her rescue because yeah. yeah. I love people sure but it's what we don't know about each other yeah. what we don't take the time mm -hmm. to want to know mm -hmm. 
about one another right. hurts all of us. Sure. Yeah, the, the, the prejudice and the ignorance. Yes. That's, yeah. that's what I call yeah. it. I, I call it ignorance. I think a lot of times when we don't take the time to get to know one another, yeah. then we make assumptions. Yes. And uh, we won't go into the, the whole sure. the conversation about assumptions because yeah. that, that's a little, you know, sure. uh, you, you know, you yeah. make a behind out of you and a me. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. not behind. Yeah. It's another I, word. I, <laughs> get, I got it, Pastor. I got it. <laughs> I got it. So, yeah. and I, I think that, and let me, let me say this to you on behalf of us ignorant white people who have treated you less than, I just want to say I'm sorry. That, that grieves my heart. But you know what? When but I, I hear but that. I, I was raised... And I, I, I love you. And it breaks my heart that you won't get the time to know me. Because yeah. yeah. I might be better to you than your own natural <laughs> brother. <laughs> yeah. You know? Sure. Because I know, I know who God created me to be. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all. I'm, I'm just, I just want us to get to know one another. Mm -hmm. The word prejudice, prejudged, mm -hmm. you know, is, is such a cruel word, you know. Mm -hmm that we write each other off or, you know, and even things that I don't understand, mm -hmm. you know, uh, about my white brothers and sisters. Sure. You know, I, I, I refuse to put you in a box. I mean, mm -hmm. my son, uh, he's married to a beautiful Portugal, Portuguese woman. They're mm -hmm. ex expecting uh, a child soon. And, and I just wanted to show you this, if I could. Yeah. Um, these, are, these are my two sons. Oh, wow. It's my two sons. Yeah. If you could see them, uh, Ray is the Good one. Good-looking guy. Yeah, yeah, you know, they take after somebody. I don't yeah. know who. But, uh, you know, he has a, the, the dreadlocks in his hair. Yeah. And then my other son, who actually pastors the oh, ministry really? in Pittsburgh where I was, yeah. Ray has his own business. Uh -huh. uh, he's a chef. Yeah. And he played for Boston College, you know, yeah. big-time football. Yeah. But he's a big guy. Yeah. Both yeah. of them are big fellas. Yeah. And in the times that we live, Sometimes I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm afraid that just as the little lady at Philippi Park mm -hmm. thought that I was menacing, right. that someone would mistake these mm -hmm. two precious men of God mm -hmm. that love God and love mm -hmm. family, that are both of them, their wives are expecting, you know, would prejudge their intentions and something go wrong, right. you know, I, I, and, and <sighs> Pastor Harv, we, we got to get better. Yeah. We have to get better. The church has to lead the way. In this. We need to be the headlight, not yeah. the taillight. Huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And I, and that's, a, I think that probably brings us full circle. That's why I want people to walk in here from every nation, tribe, Man. tongue, people, and see um, the body of Christ yes. and identify with the body of Christ. Man, Pastor. And you know what I'm saying? Yes. It, and, and it's, you know, to where when they see a man of color, it's like, yeah. those are my people. Yeah, that's my when brother. They see somebody white, yeah. those are my people. That's my brother. They see somebody yeah. that's Asian, those are my people. Yeah. Those are my peeps, you yeah, know? Yeah. And if we could lead the way in that, I mean, we really would be the light of the world. I'll, I'll never forget on the porch, my father had a lifelong friend. His name was uh, uh, Barry Winklefoss, mm -hmm. you know? And of course, you know, that's not African-American name, <laughs> but neither is Lankford. Yeah. I can tell you a story about that too. But anyway, they were on the porch one day and they're having a conversation and Mr. Winklefoss began to describe a conversation he was having with his friend. And he said, well, you know, you know, my, my black friend, Nathan, my father stopped him. Mm -hmm. And he said, what did I, I say his name? Barney, that's his name, Barney. Mm -hmm. He said, Barney, he said, if you ever refer to me again mm -hmm. as your black friend, mm -hmm. we will no longer be friends. Mm -hmm. I never forgot that because mm -hmm. what my dad was saying is, I'm your friend. Period. Let's not label each other, you know, as my black brother 
or my oriental sister. Mm -hmm. That's just my sister. Yeah. We don't do that in our natural family, do we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do we? You know? Right. And I think the sooner we learn that, listen, the, the early church, and this is amazing, drew the unbeliever to their message, not by the beauty in their sanctuary, and I love mm -hmm. Cross Point and mm -hmm. the way you sing and the praise and worship. It wasn't the music, mm -hmm. it wasn't anything. The Bible says specifically in the Gospels that. They knew they were disciples by the way they loved one another. Right. That's the key, Pastor. Yeah. Love. Yeah. It's what drew me here. Right. It's what drew me here. Right. I'm glad to hear Pure yeah. love. And when I see some of the elderly ladies and come in and they say, Hi, Ray. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you, yeah. you know my name. Yeah, yeah. But it's love that will draw. Sure. And one thing about love, love doesn't have any color on it. Yeah, you're right. Everybody responds to love. Right. Pure love. Everybody does. Yeah. Everybody does. Yeah. The guy with tattoos and, and mm -hmm. piercings and riding mm -hmm. a motorcycle and the brother with dreadlocks and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, uh, and Black Lives Matter sign or mm -hmm. whatever. Everybody. Yeah. Sure. Everybody yeah. is drawn by pure yeah. love. Yeah. And, and. Like you said, the church has to be the headlight, right? not the taillight. Yeah. Wasn't that great? I love it how these guys talk. It's so natural. Um, but anyway, if you missed what the main point was, is the church needs to lead the way in love. And hopefully we can see more of that. Hopefully we can see that through our church here at Cross Point. Um, by the way, if you're not a part of a church, we encourage you to check us out. Check out our website, Cross Point Tampa. And... Um, see who we're about. We'd love to have you join us. Um, and also, we, I would love it if you would uh, like this video or subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, we can just have more people enjoy all that we are trying to be about here at Crosspoint. Have a great day. God bless you and peace be with you.